Adobe Photoshop is an amazing tool, but the layering aspect to make these pictures can also be used for identity theft. Photoshop 101. Now first, you obviously get someone's signature, which is amazingly simple nowadays considering how many documents we sign daily. Pay with your credit card if you go for coffee, groceries, or dining? Yeah, thought so. The signature can be captured with HD video, high-res digital stills, or the old-fashioned way, a flatbed scanner. Now if the image is degraded, it can be easily enhanced by image, adjustments, auto color. Next, select the extraction box and box in the image you want to copy. Keep in mind, this is Photoshop Basics. You don't have to be an expert in the program or graphic design to do this. Scary, isn't it? All that needs to be done now is to select Edit, Copy. Next, the document that is the recipient of the forged signature is selected. Go to the Edit menu and then select Paste. The layer position tool is selected and the forgery is moved to the appropriate portion of the document. Next, the magic wand tool is selected to isolate the background of the scanned image. Keep in mind the process will slow down due to the filming and would actually go quicker in real life. The sad fact is identity theft victims are treated like criminal suspects, while the perpetrator who bought the Maserati with your signature goes scot-free. We hope this video becomes an invaluable tool for identity theft victims to take their lives back and to prosecute perpetrators of identity theft. We also do not want these image enhancement programs to be crippled in any way, in that not only do these perpetrators of identity theft ruin the lives of victims of identity theft, but also could potentially take a valuable tool away from desktop publishers and graphics professionals around the globe.